Hello and welcome to the complete course of AWS SageMaker. In this lecture, we'll see how to train a model on SageMaker by using a pre-built algorithm linear regression, right? So here uh, I spell it wrong. You can consider it as a linear regression as well. So first of all, I'll use the Boto3 library. So what a Boto3 library does it? It is a Python SDK which helps. Uh, the Python to interact with a different component of an AWS like if you want to interact with an S3 if you want to interact with AWS batch AWS glue so you can use the Boto3 library right it is a very useful library you can say in a, at least in an AWS cloud environment so once that is done there are the following steps that we need to remember while doing the modeling in SageMaker First of all, my all the data is present in an S3. So till now, uh, whatever we have done it. So here, if you'll see, if you'll go up and we have seen that my data is present, whatever the uh, data frame we had converted into an LR value, it is available in a local SageMaker instance. So what, how do we see it? So what we can do it, we can just uh, go here and see in terminal. So we have seen, uh, we can also see in a terminal what all the uh, libraries or what all the data set is present for in a local instance. So for this, this is a local instance type on which we have done the split, right? So here we'll do PWD. ls minus lrq to list down all is and my data sage maker right and and again do the listing down so here you have seen that this linear regression is a ip by np on which we are doing a coding however this train and test data set we have uploaded it but now while doing activity data analysis we have cleaned the data and store it separately into a local uh, SageMaker instance that is LR train, LR test, and LR validation. However, once we'll stop this SageMaker instance or if we'll delete this, this data will get flushed off, right? So, what our next approach is to upload this from the local instance into an S3, correct? So, here that's why the first approach would be the data should be present in an S3. Once the data is present in an S3, you should mention the S3 bucket name where you need to upload the data. Once the data has been uploaded, you need to also mention the instance type on which the model needs to be trained. So this is a SageMaker, right? And now you need to see whether if you have a small data set, so you need a less computation power. If you need a large data set, you need a large computation power. If you're using a deep learning, then you need a large. So based on that, you need to choose the instance type. So we'll see it further, what is the instance type. However, you need to keep this in mind. And then my all output artifacts, whether it is a predictions or it is a model, it would also get stored into an S3 bucket, right? So now, uh, before going ahead, what we'll do it, we'll see the bucket name, what we need to store. So before going ahead, uh, I just want you to go to an S3. Here. So in S3, I don't have any bucket, right? So either I can explicitly mention the bucket name. So the bucket name has been created, bucket name will get created or else or else you can go to AWS SageMaker and create a bucket. So anything is fine. So here, so here you can give this EC2 ease SageMaker demo, right? And you can, it's the best practice to give on which particular region. So, or if you wanted to give, you can give anything. You can give linear regression SageMaker demo as well, right? And then under this bucket, I have an LR, I will create an LR folder that is a linear regression folder. Under that folder, I will keep my LR train file 
my test file, my validation file, and all the model artifacts. So my model will get trained, right? This model artifact would be stored under this model folder. So the definition of my train file, where it is being stored, on which particular uh, folder I need to store my model, and in which particular bucket I need to store all my artifacts, needs to be mentioned here. Once that is done, once this is done, we need to mention this like a S3 model output would be S3, the bucket name, the bucket name would be LR SageMaker demo and then under this LR the would be a model folder that is LR model, right? Similarly, for a S3 train, it would be an S3. Under this, we have a bucket name that is LR SageMaker demo and then the train uh, file right the train file train file is under lr and demo similarly for a test and validation set so we'll see how it looks like oh i have not done this what happened i have not okay see it would be that under s3 this is the bucket name lr stage maker demo under this we have lr and my train data set would reside into a LR folder with the name of LRTrain.csv. Now, what we are going to do is using a Boto3 library, we are uploading these three files, my train, test and validation data set into an S3 path. So what it does it, it takes the LRTrain.csv file on which the file which we need to upload and then the Boto3 uh, SDK will create a session under this session, we'll see that which particular resource we need to use. We need to use a step function, we need to use Lambda, or we need to use S3. So here we have a resource S3. Once we know that, okay, we from the bottom three, this Python library need to access the S3 bucket. Now, which bucket you need to access? We need to access the bucket name. So here, if we'll go up, so this is a bucket name we need to access and once the bucket name is accessed, which particular location my train file would be. So this is my train file, right? So over there in a bucket, this is this train file, this particular file would be named as lr slash lrtrain.csv. So these two file name can also be changed, right? So now if I'll see this LR, if LR is not, if I if I would have not given this thing, it would have directly created under this directory, under this bucket. Now here, since I have given LR slash, so this means it will create a folder, LR folder, under that LR folder, it will create, create a LR train.csv, right? And this file needs to be named, which particular file need to be uploaded? This particular file needs to be uploaded at this particular location. So this is how, we are uploading our file from a local SageMaker instance to my S3 bucket. So I'll execute this, I'll execute all three, and it has given an error. So what is an error? We'll see here, we'll do the troubleshooting later on. So what we are going to do is we'll try to create a bucket from here, right? So create bucket, this is a bucket name and just click on create bucket so my bucket is created now in a us east one region right so what i'll do it i'll again go back to my code and execute this file again and see whether it is working or not so here now it works right so we'll see later on uh, why uh, it has not been created however it will get created you can see in my earlier session also that these files is created or you can see my future lecture also it will get created so i'll just uh, see it in future uh, session that it will get created through the program itself however uh, with the time uh, permitted i'll just try to execute this and execute this okay so here I have uploaded all these three files in an S3. So we'll go back and click on 
this so here we have an lr folder under this lr folder we have all these three files which we have stored just now so in this lecture we have created a data we have done certain kind of a feature engineering and then store the data into a local instance and then upload the data from local instance to an s3 bucket in the next lecture we'll see how to train the model deploy the model and do the inference from this model thank you